Your Excellency, permit me to invite Lieutenant Colonel Reverend Joel Thor, the military chaplain, to lead us in order of prayer. I request we be seated for a second as I read the word. So, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya and the Commander of the Kenya Defense Forces, just before I pray, I request to read a verse and say just two words, and then we go to prayer. I'll read in Kiswahili. Kumbukumbu la Torati ishirini mlango wa kwanza na wapili. Utokapo kuenda vitani pigana na adui zaku. Na, kuona fara, na, na ukiona farasi na magari na watu wengi kuliko wewe usi waogope kwa kuwa bwana mungu wako yu pamoja nawe aliyekuweza aliye kutoka nchi ya misiri na iwe msonge hapo mapiganoni kuhani na akaribie na kusema na watu Excellency the President, I will be doing injustice if I don't say something about our new CDF this morning, uh, who has been my flock all this time in the Air Force. There are two things he has challenged me as his pastor. One, the art of reading the scriptures. He reads the scriptures from Genesis to Revelation and goes back to Genesis to Revelation, back to Genesis to Revelation. The last time I told him about that story was in 2022, January. And that time, as I was telling him, he, was, he had remained with four chapters to finish reading the Bible the fourth time. So I don't know if you continue the fifth or you stopped there. I, <laughs> the second thing is... Uh, the art of forgiveness, the ability to forgive. There is an area he forgave, and I told him in January 2022, if I was in his shoes, and as a priest, I would not have forgiven myself. But he did it very simply, and I told him, if you continue with those two cultures, if you continue with that culture, you will rise from what you were at that time, even higher. He said, Amen. It has come to pass. God bless you. And I wish you very well. Let me request now we be upstanding, remove our hairdress, and, uh, and have a word of prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we come before you this day with grateful hearts, full of joy for the leadership you have given us in our country. We lift up the President of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces of Kenya, His Excellency Dr. William Samoe Ruto, together with his deputy, His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa. We pray that you give them wisdom, discernment, and compassion as they lead our country. We have also come before you this day to inaugurate the new Chief of Defense Forces of the Republic of Kenya, General Francis Omondi Ogola. We pray that you give him the strength of body, mind, and spirit together with knowledge, understanding, and humility to lead with excellence. May his leadership inspire the service members to also pursue excellence in all that they do. We pray for his success in his new role, and we ask that you protect him and keep him safe from harm. We also lift up the VCDF, Lieutenant General Jonah Maina Mwangi, together with Major General David Kipkemboy Keter, Major General Stephen James Motuko, Major General John Maison Nkoimo, Major General Abdukadir Mohamed Burji, Brigadier Anthony Rotich, and Brigadier Alfred Mwehore Kitonga. We ask that you give them the strength and wisdom to carry out their duties with honor and integrity. May they, may they work together in unity, and may their effort lead to the greater good of our country. We pray for the families of the generals. We ask that you work with them during this time of transition and give them the ability to support their loved ones. 
Finally, Lord, we thank you for coming through at our hour of need. When our country was almost ravaged by drought, you responded to our prayers by giving us enough rains. We now pray that you protect our crops. Bless our nation with peace, prosperity, and unity. May our country be a beacon of hope and light to the whole world. We ask all this in the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. You may kindly take your seats. Your Excellency the President, the Cabinet Secretary for Defense, and other Cabinet Secretaries present, the outgoing Chief of Defense Forces, the Chief of Defense Forces designate, honored guests, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. This state ceremony is convened pursuant to Article 74 of the Constitution and the Kenya Defense Forces Act for the investiture of rang to the general officers and thereafter for the swearing in of the newly appointed chief of the defense forces and vice chief of defense forces. The newly appointed chief of defense forces and the vice chief of defense forces were appointed by your excellency following the recommendation of the defense council in accordance with article 241 of the constitution as read with article uh, section 23 of the Kenya Defense Forces Act 2012. With Your Excellency's kind indulgence and permission, I now invite Your Excellency, as the Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, to confer and install the new ranks to the CDF designate and other senior officers. I also invite the outgoing CDF to facilitate the investiture of ranks to the esteemed officers. Your Excellency. Uh, Your Excellency, uh, the Commander-in-Chief,
Uh, sir, I now invite Major General David Kete.
the excellence in that protocol and the general party would be accompanied by the project commander. Your Excellency, I now call upon the General of Ocheno, accompanied by the Commander Kennedy. Do swear in the name of the Almighty God that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Republic of Kenya and to the President as the Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces. 
that I will obey, preserve, protect, and defend this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, and that I will protect and uphold the sovereignty, integrity, and dignity of the people of Kenya, that I will diligently serve the people and the Republic of Kenya without any fear, favor, bias, affection, ill will, prejudice, or any political, religious, and other influence. In the exercise of the functions entrusted to me, I will at all times, to the best of my ability, respect, uphold, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution, people, and Republic of Kenya, and obey all laws, orders, regulations, directions, and instructions concerning Kenya Defense Forces. So help me God. Lieutenant General Jonah Mainamwangi. I, Lieutenant General Jonah Mainamwangi, Vice Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, I do swear in the name of the Almighty God that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Republic of Kenya and to the President as the Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, that I will obey, preserve, protect, and defend this Constitution of Kenya and all laws of the Republic, and that I will protect and uphold the sovereignty, integrity, and dignity of the people of Kenya, that I will diligently serve the people and Republic of Kenya without fear, favor, bias, affection, ill will, prejudice, or any political, religious, or other influence. In the exercise of the functions entrusted to me, I will at all times, and to the best of my ability, respect, uphold, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution, people, and Republic of Kenya and obey all laws, orders, regulations, directions, and instructions concerning the Kenya Defense Forces. So help me God.
Your Excellency, with the new leadership within the senior ranks of the Kenya Defense Forces, having assumed office, it is now my humble duty and profound privilege to invite Your Excellency to convey your congratulations to the Chief of Defense Forces and all the promoted officers as they, are, they assume positions of higher responsibility within the ranks of the nation's security organ charged with the defense and protection of the sovereignty and territorial integrity of this great republic. And thereafter, with Your Excellency's most kind and gracious indulgence to grant the generals a photo opportunity. Welcome, Your Excellency. Um, good morning. Let me, in a very profound way, uh, first congratulate General Kiboshi, our outgoing CDF, for an outstanding service, not just to um, our military, but to the nation of Kenya. You have, in both difficult times, and in good times, you have demonstrated leadership, and we are very proud of your service as a CDF of the Republic of Kenya. And today, with pride, with your head high, you exit from the highest uh, office in the military, and as you take up your other responsibilities in retirement. Congratulations from me, and I wish you the very best, and I am confident that you still have time to contribute to the development of our nation, even in your next phase. Let me take this opportunity again to congratulate our new CDF, General Ogola, congratulations on your appointment and ascension into the high office of uh, CDF in the Republic of Kenya. In considering your appointment, I assessed your background, where you've come from, what you have done, your journey in the military, and I am satisfied that you merit the office, you have my confidence, you have the confidence of the government of Kenya to discharge your responsibilities in your new office. It is my expectation that the professional standard of the Kenyan military will be observed under your leadership. Kenya has a tradition of a military that is professional, that is outstanding, that has integrity, and that serves not just the people of Kenya, but our region and the globe. VCDF Mwangi, congratulations. I also uh, went through uh, to understand how you have grown in the ranks, and I am also confident that you have what it takes to support the CDF and to provide the liaison between the rest of government and our military so that we can have seamless um, relationship and engagement between the military and other arms of government. Again, this is my expectation that you will support the CDF in ensuring that the military remains professional, with integrity, and continue to perform the duties that have been assigned to the military by our Constitution. To all the other gentlemen, generals that have been promoted and assigned new responsibilities, congratulations to all of you. My very best wishes as you take up your new roles. 
and to the entire military fraternity. It is my expectation and that of the government of Kenya that we shall continue to see a professional, a military that serves the people of Kenya. And as I have told you before, we do not expect to see ethnicity, bias, or any other consideration aside from professionalism. It is my expectation that uh, the high standard that has been set by your predecessors, you will strive to attain even higher standards as you take over the leadership of the military. We will expect from you to serve the country as the foremost defense of the country against external threats. You will also be expected to work with the rest of the security agencies to support the security of the country in every other aspect. I will also be calling upon you to support other civilian agencies in the discharge of their responsibilities, deploying the discipline, the professionalism, the integrity of the military to support the rest of the civilian authority in ensuring that we take Kenya to the next level. I will be meeting you at a later date. Let me say on this a very happy occasion that I am indeed proud that uh, I have assigned you the responsibilities that I have, being confident that you have what it takes, not just to assume those responsibilities, but also discharge the duties that have been assigned to you in those responsibilities. Again, congratulations to you. My very best wishes to each and every one of you. And I also look forward, as I said, to working with you going into the future. Asante sana, napongezi tena. I am confident that uh, the CDF, the outgoing CDF will have sufficient time to work on handover notes <laughs> and to make sure that uh, the transition is uh, smooth, effective, efficient, and seamless. These are your uh, people, you have worked with them, so you know them, and uh, I am very confident that there are no strangers here. These are people who have worked together, and uh, I look forward to uh, working with you. Asante Nisana. Your Excellency, I now invite you for a photo session with the CDF and the General Officers. You have given them ranks today. Your Excellency. Sir.